So here's the thing. I did the carpet in um, a custom Jean Batista dress. Yep. Today we are going to discuss a certain American actress, dancer, and musician whose name was inspired by Princess Oriana from Felix the Cat. Here's another clue. She sees it, she likes it, she wants it, she gets it. If you still haven't guessed it, we are talking about the worldwide pop sensation, Ariana Grande. Ariana has won the hearts of many with her adorable personality and cute smile. There's no denying that we all love her, but believe it or not, even the super cute and lovable people get embarrassed too. In this video, we're going to tell you all about Ariana Grande's most embarrassing moments. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First Coachella 2019 27-year-old Ariana Grande Butera began her career at the age of 15 in the 2008 Broadway musical 13 in 2008. However, she rose to fame in 2010 for her role as Cat in the Nickelodeon series Victorious, as well as its spin-off series Sam and Cat. Since her rise to fame, Ariana has remained pretty consistent and has wowed her fans by releasing hit song after hit song. It's no surprise that she got invited to perform at the 2019 Coachella. Ariana Grande brought her A-game to the Coachella stage, but the four Forces of nature seem to be against the star that day. Every star's worst nightmare is getting booed on stage, especially when it involves the audience throwing tomatoes at them. As Ariana worked the stage, a Beyonce fan decided that she wasn't satisfied with the star's performance. The fan didn't think a simple boo would suffice, and since she didn't have a tomato, she threw a lemon at Ariana instead. Ariana, like every good performer, brushed off the incident, but the lemon attack caused her to hit an off-key note. You would think a lemon attack is enough mishap for one performance, but apparently it wasn't. While Ariana performed alongside her friend and fellow musician, Nicki Minaj, the unthinkable happened. A major technical difficulty occurred, and the pair realized that both the earpieces had stopped working. Without the earpieces, neither of them could hear the band. Try as they might, the stars couldn't keep up with the band and eventually ended up going off tempo. Despite the bumps in the road, the queens still managed to nail their performance. Well, better luck next time, Ari. Second, the flying shoe. Everyone knows a thing or two about shoes, but we bet you didn't think they could fly. And honestly, neither did we, until we saw a clip of one of Ariana's performances for the 2015 Honeymoon Tour. At first, things seemed to be going pretty well, and Ariana had both her shoes on, until she did it. Out of nowhere, one of her pumps flew off her foot and into the crowd. She stopped performing for a few seconds, saying, Oh my gosh, my shoe, my shoe! Eventually, she got her shoe back, and after saying thank you, she continued her performance like a true queen. Just out of curiosity, do you think Ariana Grande's shoe flew off because she was strutting a little too hard, or do you think it was oversized? Next, the Randy Jackson high five. At one point or another, we have all experienced the awkwardness of being left hanging, and so has Ariana. This next embarrassing moment occurred when Ariana was hosting alongside influential TV personality Ryan Seacrest and American Idol judge Randy Jackson. As the show went on, Grande went in to give Randy a high five, but the star left her hanging. We aren't sure if Randy didn't notice the gesture, or if he was interested in high-fiving at the time, but either way, Grande didn't get her a high-five. In typical Grande fashion, she brushed it off and she continued being her happy, lovable self. The fact that the show's producers didn't have the moment edited out of the show proves that in the end, everyone had a good laugh over it and there are no hard feelings between Grande and Randy Jackson. Then there's the time the confetti almost killed her. A lot of artists have said some pretty crazy things on stage, but something tells us that if a list of the craziest things artists have said on stage were to be compiled, whoa girl, I almost died up there, would definitely top the list. In 2014, Ariana, who was a pretty popular teen sensation at the time, was performing her song Love Me Harder at the iHeart Radio Jingle Ball. When she slipped on a piece of Christmas confetti while walking across the stage and almost losing her balance. Thankfully, she caught herself before any real damage occurred. Grande could have brushed it off and continued with her performance, but she ruined all chances of doing that when she called the crowd's attention to the slip up by saying, whoa girl, I almost died up there. We love you Ari no matter what, and for what it's worth, we are really glad you didn't die. Next up, bang bang in the face. Standing not so tall at a little above 5 feet, Ariana is no stranger to short girl problems like being unable to reach the top shelf, trying to make a bed and not reaching across it. This next embarrassing moment is also a new addition to the long list of already existing short girl problems. Short girl problem number 5012. Getting smacked in the face by the furry wings of the Victoria's Secret model. In 2014, Ariana was singing on the runway while the Victoria's Secret models did their thing. Ariana got so into her performance that she didn't notice a 6 foot tall angel coming her way with giant pink 
big billowy wings. After walking the runway, the beautiful angel turned to make her way back and that's when her wings smacked Ari right in the face. Ariana tried to duck out of the angel's way with a horrified look on her face and of course, the moment was caught on camera. As if the moment itself wasn't embarrassing enough, the people of the internet proceeded to create a whole new world of memes using that cringe-worthy piece of grande. As usual, she took all the teasing in good stride and even made a few jokes about it. That's one of the many things we love about Ariana Grande. She is always the first to laugh and make fun of herself, and she doesn't take it to heart when other people do. Then the time she forgot the lyrics to her song. When you are a superstar with so many hit songs under your belt, it's easy to mix up or even outrightly forget the lyrics to some of your songs. And this was precisely what happened to Ariana in this next embarrassing moment. During her Red Bull Sound Space performance, Ariana got tongue-tied when she realized that she couldn't remember the lyrics to her own song. While still trying to remember the lyrics, Grande revealed that the previous day she had spent 20 hours shooting a music video for the exact song, so it was really shocking that she couldn't remember the lyrics. Eventually, she gave up on trying to remember the lyrics herself. She ended up asking someone to help her Google the lyrics of the song so she could complete the performance. No, we're not kidding. That's exactly what happened. But hey, we can't be too hot on her. Things happen sometimes. Next, Sweetener World Tour. During Ariana's fourth concert tour, aka the Sweetener Tour, she had some not-so-sweet moments, including an actual mic drop. While our favorite star was performing on stage, the microphone slipped out of her hand. But luckily for her, she was able to catch it almost instantly without missing a beat. Ariana's great reflexes? One. Microphone? Zero. Then there was the epic fall. If you know Ari, then you know she's not a stranger to falling on stage. Caution just isn't her strongest suit. In 2015, during her honeymoon tour, she was performing Bang Bang without her homegirls, Nicki Minaj and Jessie J. Some reports say that Nicki and Jessie were actually present, but for reasons best known to the trio, Ariana was performing the song alone. Anyway, back to the embarrassing moment. The stage Ariana was performing on had a few slightly elevated platforms, and Ari decided she wanted to climb onto one of them for the next phase of her performance. Maybe she forgot that she was wearing thigh-high stiletto boots, or maybe she was just feeling a little too confident. Whatever the case, her attempt to climb the platform didn't go as planned. As she tried to get up on the platform, her boots got caught in the flooring and she landed on her knee. Ouch. There was a dancer on the platform and Ari fell right in front of him. For a moment, he panicked. He didn't know whether to help her up or to continue the dance routine. Eventually, he decided to help the singer get back to her feet. Thankfully, Ariana was able to carry on with the performance without missing a beat. But it was obvious that the goofy celebrity was holding back laughter. Last but not least, Ariana Grande's rap. Ariana Grande is a multiple award-winning artist and has over 94 awards under her belt, so it's easy to forget that she wasn't always this big. The next embarrassing moment occurred at the beginning of her career. It took place on a show when Ariana was called up to receive the award for the new star of the year. At this point, we all know that after an award is received, a thank you speech comes next, but Grande was just too nervous. When she finally got herself together and was finally ready to deliver the speech her mom had prepared for her, she discovered that she had only 10 seconds left, so she did the next best thing. She pulled an m, &M. She called out as many names as she could from the list and then concluded the 10 second speech by thanking everybody for supporting her music career. Now, now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what time management looks like. There you have it, folks, Ariana's most embarrassing moments. Which of these moments do you think were the most embarrassing? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.